All right, what's up, Brandon? Um, just wanted to send you a quick little video on how I use this little resizer before I uh, mail it to you today. Um, so it's designed to go in um, and be put together much like this here. Um, these little uh, bearings here, um, you can adjust this rod using this little nut here, and it goes up and down. You can see it slides up and down, and that's this is supposed to hold your strands down. I actually found that with like cutting uh, small kangaroo lace the way that we do, because we tend to have you know thinner cuts, you know here like this moving it. Um, these just don't cut it because, as you can see, once you get to a certain once you get to a certain point. Um, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, once you get to a certain point, that's that's the max thickness that you can do because the bearing will um, bump into the blade here. So um, I actually don't use this. I didn't use it. I tried it out. It does work well because it holds the strand down, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to like put your thumb in here to do it. Um, but anyways, uh, this is how it's you know designed to be used. But it didn't really work that well for me, so I actually just took it off and. And, um, but I, I am sending it since it was a part of it. So let me go ahead and take this off real quick. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed um, just to kind of give you a heads up on how, how I do things. So um, for a while, I was using it set up just like this. Now these measurements that are on the side, they are relatively accurate. I actually just like to use uh, my calipers here, set my caliper distance that I want, and then... Um, Put it up against the blade, push this guide, this fence up against it, and then tighten it down. Um, that's one way you can do it. Um, I found that it was a little difficult when I used it when I used it like this, um, just because, um, as you can see the blade here, as as you can see the blade here, um, it's real easy to get your finger, you know, and get your thumb in there and get cut. It's kind of hard to really hold down as you pull the strand through, but I do want to encourage you to just kind of experiment with it with some spare lace that you have or some cowhide just so that you can get an understanding of how you want to use this. I use these particular blades here um, with this little metal piece on the back because if you see here, it adds that angle. This doesn't have an angle, and by using that, it has that angle. I set the thinnest side right where this screw is, and then what I do is I put the blade in, I loosen these both up, I put the blade in, and then I tighten this end down real hard, and then I kind of finger tighten this. And as you see here, it creates a little bit of that angle, which will give you that angle that you want um, to cut. So these are the type of blades that I use. I'll send you a pack with it, um, but that's what I use. Give me one second, I'm looking for something here in my massive uh, selection of useless tools. Um, here it is. So, one of the issues that I had with this was when I was using this like this, was like I said, it was kind of hard to get in there. Um, and as you notice here, I sent you a picture of it. Um, you can see it a lot more around this, around, around this piece here. There, there's a bevel that's cut. And if you look in there, what happens is, is it causes, it causes your strand to get in there and then, and then it causes it to angle inward and it will actually cut it at a bevel, but not a bevel that you want it to. Um, so to fix that and alleviate that, I would always just take uh, just a, you know, a, a reusable whatever card, pick one up, and I would just, after I adjusted this piece, I would just kind of put this in there as a guide um, right up against the blade to keep the strand straight instead of angling in because it'll, it'll bend and angle in. So I always use that. Um, when I used it this way though, I found that I had to kind of use this tool, which a friend of mine sent me. I have no clue where you get it. Um, and I would actually take this side and I would put it right in here, right on top of the strand and hold it down and pull it through. Um, and that worked uh, the best when I used it this way. Um, but it put a lot of tension, puts a lot of tension on your hand because as you're as you're doing it, you're pushing down, pushing down really hard, and you can see there's a lot of pressure on that back area that's going over top of my hand right here, and that would get really sore. So, um, 
when I finally decided how I was going to use it as I experimented, what I actually started doing was I actually started turning this piece to an angle and using just the corner. Um, so I would match up just this corner with the tip of the blade and that's what I would use for my calipers. I would measure from there um, and I would always have it turned out just enough to where as you can see here when I put my thumb there um, it's no longer it's not like hitting the blade so the first thing that I would do before I would tighten anything down is I would kind of get it right about where I wanted it to and then I would take this I would take this card and I would just slide it straight up I'd slide it straight up just like that and I made it just so that just so that the card is hitting hitting the razor right and then I would go ahead and I would tighten everything down which we'll do that real quick just like that right so and then from there I'll be sending you one of these too because <clears throat> this came with it from there I just use the C clamp to hold that down right there and that holds it in place so I'm gonna do a new video of me doing that and I'm gonna send you uh, a video of me just you know cutting a 